Hi everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. So if you saw a couple days ago, I did these two coasters and I'm on a journey to test all 60 of these new Let's Resin mica powders that I received. And the last two I used blue and sky blue and this was the outcome. So this is the blue and this is the sky blue, which is more of a teal. And then I added a little bit of rainbow shimmer into them. So I have two more to do. I'm gonna set these aside and put these little mica powders away because I've already used them. Yesterday's video, I was testing a bunch of other colors. So if you didn't see that, go check that out. They are gorgeous. And what I'm gonna do today, on a lot of trial and error on this last one, I realized this squeegee is your friend. You put the color in and you push it around. That's it. I was dripping it one drip at a time like I normally do. So today, should go a little easier, I hope. I've already mixed my resin. I'm using my four hour fast cure just because it's faster and it's thicker and it might stay in place easier. I'm gonna try the light blue and the dark blue. So we're gonna have all four in blue. I'm going to use my Gold Rush glitter like I did on those. So they'll kind of be a matching set in being that they're blue and gold, just different shades of blue. I don't think I opened these ones yet. Let me open these up over here because they are pretty full in these bottles and they like to go places. That one, a little compressed. Let me get this one open. I thought I was ready guys, sorry. Bear with me. So I split it into two. I really don't know, I didn't measure on the last one how much it used. So I'm going to, I'm gonna mix up the bigger one. This one is gonna hold more. So let's do that. Oops, oh my goodness, see, I keep spilling these. I did it on the last video too. Let's see if I could salvage some of this. Get it stuck to my resin stick. I don't like to waste anything, not from an accident. Oh well, I got the most I could. All right, let me get some more in here. Like I said, this is a half fluid ounce. I don't know, I don't know how much it's gonna take. I should have measured it on the other ones, but like I said, after much trial and error and time involved in those, I realized at the last second, the easier way to do this. And I have so many different color combinations I'd like to do on these. But I've already started this blue and gold set, so I will finish it. So if I do them again, I'm going to try some other kind of combinations. Now make sure you mix your mica good because it will sink and you will see it. I don't want to see it. And you can also let this sit for 15, 20 minutes if you want to and get it much thicker, which I didn't do. I should have done that, but I didn't do it. All right, so all we're gonna do is pour it in. I'm gonna kinda just, the most goes on the outside. I really don't think I'm gonna need a whole lot on the inside. I'm just gonna squash it in all these leaves. This is so much easier. Then dripping it in. Then what I did was I cured it and then I filled up the back with my glitter and I mixed glue in with my glitter. That way it would um, stay suspended and not give me any clear spots in my tree trunk or anything like that. So the only part of this is that happy medium where it's not going to get into the leaves, but it's also going to spread around the edges. So a half fluid ounce is way too much actually. So I will be making some extras today. And then I just kind of let it sit for a few minutes, see if it's gonna separate in any areas as it settles and levels, and then just fill in those spots. See, this is gonna be too much over here. It's 
already filled up my tree. So I'm just gonna push it over there, get it into my edges. So yeah, that's a it's, um, happy medium. You don't want too much, but you also can't do too little. So I'm thinking like quarter of an ounce. That one's probably gonna be a lot less. See how that's separated right there? That's not a leaf, that's just a blank spot in the coaster. So this is um, challenging too, I guess. And it's separated right there. I hope I'm not missing anything. It looks pretty good. I'm just gonna wipe off my stick. I'll save that for something else. Um, maybe I'll use a smaller one. Let me find a little silicone tool. I just wanna clean it out the best that I could so that the gold glitter is gonna show through later. So it is on top of these leaves in a few areas. This hair, that's not a leaf. See, that's what's hard. Is it a leaf or is it a blank spot? That's a blank spot. And this is a blank spot. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm not gonna pour that extra out. That's a blank spot there. Not that you'll probably never notice in the final product, but you know how I am. Cleaning up a little bit. That looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to mix my light blue into this one. And this is gonna take a whole lot less. I'm just gonna set those over there so I don't forget what colors they are. This one is much pearlier than the other one. And of course, I will be putting my heat mat on because you know I can't wait. So this one I think is gonna be more challenging because there's a lot less space to fill in with this. So I think I'm just gonna drizzle it around. This is gonna be a lot less than a quarter ounce. This one doesn't have a whole edge around it. To fill in, you know what I mean? Like that one did. This one I've been dreading. This one looks really hard. Does need a little more. And then I'll probably have to take some out with a squeegee, actually. I'm just kind of pushing it all the way to the edge. There's a tiny little trim edge around. Not very much at all. This thing is almost all tree. Get it around that edge. I'm not as confident on this one as I am the others. It's got so many nooks and crannies and I'm hoping I get them all because I want my gold to shine through. And I'm sure I'll be missing lots. I don't, I can't do it. I can't do every teeny tiny spot on this one. It looks because it's so small. 
but I'm going to do my best. See like these spots right here? I know you can't see it, but I could see that it's an empty spot. And I think up here, oh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Like around this edge, I know I need a few drips. I wonder how long this is going to take to cure being so, so thin. Probably not long, or it could be longer because there's not a lot of chemical reaction going on. <clears throat> I don't know. We're going to find out if I remember to check on them. Let's use my small one. All right, so there's a couple birds in here too, which I won't be differentiating them from the leaves this time. That's just way too hard. You could always do that, <clears throat> excuse me, when you unmold them. You could always fill those birds in with like a UV resin and then top coat, because you definitely have to top coat these. There's no way around it unless you want a dull mold. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat mat on, do something with that extra, and then we'll come back and pour some glitter. As I was mixing my four ounces of resin to fill them in, I thought, why don't I just use some UV resin and do the birds? So quickly, I did that off camera. I used my Diamond Dust Red for cardinals, and I quick cured that under my UV light, So, because this was already mixed. I'm going to do the same thing I did. This is my four hour fast cure. I'm gonna add four drops of Elmer's glue. One, two, three. Those were bigger drops than normal. And this is just gonna thicken up my resin to hold that glitter in place without sinking. Grab a stick. So I'm just gonna get this nice and thick. Yeah, it's a little extra thick because there was something on my bottle which was making bigger drops. So this is like really, really thick. So I don't have to worry about this glitter going anywhere. So I'm just going to mix the glitter in and pour it in. I've still got the heat mat on going, so I'm just going to leave it on. We should be able to demold these here in, in a couple hours. Now, when you use glue, you kind of got to slice it off because it's like one big chunk of resin. That was definitely probably six drops instead of four. And I'm guessing I only mixed up four ounces of resin because that's what the last ones used. I don't know if these are the same or not. I'm just assuming they are. Whoops, I think I went over that one. This one is so thick. <laughs> it is so thick. Can you know? Looks like it's about the same. This one can use a little more. I poured some roses with my extra, a couple pendants, a little geode. So I will have everything cured. Yeah, four ounces was pretty much perfect. It is so thick, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need to overdo the glue. It's not going to hurt anything, but yeah, it was just kind of hard to pour. That's all. And the bubbles don't pop. <laughs> not like normal bubbles. They're like glued bubbles. But it's the bag, so it doesn't matter. All right. I will see you on demold. Surprise! I already unmolded for you. <clears throat> So I did unmold them and I top coated them. That way this, this clip can just be the end because you've seen me top coat these two. But I'll show you the extras. Here's a pendant that I made. And I put a little, well, the bubbles came out a little bigger than I wanted, but a little turtle. And then a pair of earrings to match. And then I made a little tiny geode, which I did not unmold this yet. Not too bad. 
There's a little sparkle to it. And then we've got three more roses to add to my collection. Oh, that's pretty. See how that alcohol works? There are no bubbles in there. These two are exactly the same. I think two are one color and one are the other, but honestly, these are pretty much very, very close colors. This one's the different one. I don't know if you could tell the difference. Dark blue, I think that was called light blue and dark blue. So that's the difference, light blue and dark blue. Either way, they look good. Are you ready for the reveal? Now this one I put the rainbow shimmer in. This one I did not, and I'll show you why. Because it has so much glitter in it already, I didn't want to put more in. What do you think about all those birds? At least they're not gold. I'm glad I thought of that at the last second. I think it came out really good. So this one is, I don't know, light blue or dark blue. I can't tell really. This one must be the light blue. There's so much gold in it. So this one I did put the rainbow shimmer in. I think they came out really good. I was so worried about these when I received them, but now that I know how to do them properly, you can pretty much do any color combination pretty easily. So these are the four, you guys. If anybody wants this set of, as a demo, it will be on my eBay store. So get them while you can, very inexpensively. Makes a great gift. <laughs> All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the little series of trees because I certainly did. Thank you for gifting them to me. I absolutely love them. And I will get you some final pictures, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye.